factless fa what the f All right, now before we get into factless facts and things like that, let's talk about many-to-many -many relationships. Let's make sure we understand what that is. Now, let's suppose we had a company that runs a lot of promotions and sells products, okay? Now, a customer can buy from many of those promotions, right? And many of those promotions will have many customers associated with them. That's called many-to-many -many relationship. That's one example of a many-to-many -many relationship. Now, let's go into MicroStrategy and let's see how we can resolve this using uh, factless fact or relationship tables, uh, and let's see some of the things we can do. So now that we understand a little bit about many-to-many -many relationships, I want to show you the table we've created here to try to capture customers and promotions and understand what customers purchase from what promotions, right? You know, the, the idea here is so that we can determine the effectiveness of our promotions or what customers liked which promotions, right? Or how much they like our promotions, right? That, that's the idea here. So let's take a look at this relationship table that I've created to try and capture this. We'll select star. Okay, so now this relationship table only has three columns. It's got the customer ID, it's got the promotion ID, okay? And then it's got here this factless fact or this meaningless fact, really. It doesn't really mean anything in and of itself, right? It's just a I call it the count fact, but it's just every value is a one, right? It's just hard coded um, to return a one for every single row. Um, and then I'll show you what, what we can do with this. So now let's go ahead and, and let's map this all into MicroStrategy and we'll run a report and we'll show you how, what you can do with these types of um, relationship tables or factless facts. All right. So now, as you can see, here we are in Architect. We have our promotion table, and all I've done is mapped in the promotion attribute. We've got our customer table, and all I've done is mapped in the customer attribute. Now we're going to bring in our relationship table that um, maps customers to promotions. Okay, so we'll go ahead and we'll drag this in here. And it should find everything for us, and it did. It found customer, it found promotion, and it's going to create this fact here, fact count, and that's what we want, so we'll click OK. And that's it. Simple as that. We have a real, our, we've mapped in our relationship table into Architect. So now let's go ahead and create our metric, um, and let's see what we can do with this. All right. So now the next thing we're going to do is we're going to create our metric, and we're going to do a sum on that fact. So let's go new metric. Okay. All right, now let's find our fact, public object, scheme object, sorry, facts. And here's our fact count, uh, fact that we just created. All right, great. So now we're just going to do a sum of this fact count. Now remember, every value in this table is, in this every record in this table, this has a value of 1. It's hard coded as that. We're going to do a sum on that, okay? And let's call this um, promo, let's call this actually customer promo count. Okay, great. All right, now the last thing we're going to do is let's go ahead and create our report. So we'll start a blank report. Okay, and then we will add our customer attribute. And then we'll go to our metric that we just created. And we'll add our customer count, customer promo count, and we'll run that. And there we have it. There's our results. So uh, Mr. Yang, he purchased product from two of our promotions. Mr. Torres, only one. Alvarez, two. Okay. So now you can see this is a way where we can um, see how many promotions our customers participated in. Now, let's take a look at the SQL and see what's happening. So we'll go view SQL. All right. Now let's scroll down. And now, as you can see here, it's just doing a simple select from our, rela our relationship table, and it's just summing that factless fact um, where every record, for every record it was a one. Now, that what that represents, because every record represents a customer that participated in that promotion, um, putting the one here and summing that will give you, by customer, will give you uh, the total number of promotions that that customer participated in. Um, so that's how we're using that fact there. But again, every record in our relationship table represents a customer that participated in a particular promotion. Now, 
this is a simple example. A, a better example, this, and I was kind of limited and based on the data I had, um, but a better example of this would be like if you had, you know, products and colors, right? A many-to-many -many relationship there, right? Uh, many, many, pro many colors, many products can have many different colors, right? Shirts can come in many different colors, but those colors can also belong to many different products, right? So if you wanted to count how many colors belonged to those products, right? How many products, those co how many colors those, a product had, if you wanted to count that, in some situ situations when you do that, it would do it from the fact table, right? Which would be like a sales table. But what if a customer didn't buy those colors. What if nobody bought blue, right? It wouldn't show up there. So that's where relationship tables really come in handy, and that's that's where they're really useful. Um, so hopefully all that made sense. All right, so that'll do it. Please don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell, and also check out jamestechtips.com for more BR-related content, and thanks for watching.